Hi, welcome to this quick start lesson on responsive elements. We'll teach you how to make your designs be more fluid and adaptive by using what we call constraints in Protopie. To demonstrate what a responsive layout is, we'll use this photo gallery app. Using the toggle view, you can switch from a list of elements to a 2x2 two two grid. How? Let's dive right in. Open up Protopie Studio with our starting pie. You'll see a single scene with four cards arranged in a vertical list. First, create a scene for the grid view by duplicating the current scene. Now, rename the scenes respectively as List View and Grid View. The List View will remain unchanged. Instead, we'll rearrange the cards on Grid View into a 2x2 two two grid with a corner radius. Before we continue, you must remember, if you try to resize any of the groups, the items inside remain in a fixed position. That's because by default, Protopie Studio sets layers inside a container to maintain a fixed size and a constant position relative to the top left corner of the container. So, is it possible to change this behavior? Absolutely! You'll only need to adjust each layer's constraints. Keep in mind that the Constraints section has two parts. The left side controls how an element's size and position change relative to the top, bottom, left, and right edges of its container. The right side allows you to set whether the element should maintain a fixed width or height. Now, let's go back and take a look at the first card. Notice that the group is made up of five elements, some text, a more icon, an image, and two subtle shading elements over the top and bottom of the image named Overlay Top and Overlay Bottom. Here's a pro tip for you. In this case, we need to adjust the constraints on the individual items inside the container, not on the container itself. Go back to the layer named Text. We want the text to remain fixed to the bottom left corner, so set the constraints to the left and bottom. And also, we don't want the text to change in size as the container is resized, so make sure to leave Fixed Width and Height selected. Have you got it? Let's move on to the More icons constraint, but this time fixing the position in the top right. The Overlay Top layer must remain fixed to the top, but also to stretch and match the width of the container. To do that, deselect Fixed Width and set the constraints to the top, left, and right. Likewise, set the Overlay Bottom layer to remain fixed to the bottom of the card and stretch with the width of the container. And lastly, set the image to resize freely to match the dimensions of the outer container. Turn off both Fixed Width and Fixed Height and turn on all four top, left, bottom, and right constraints. Why? Because this, together with the image's display setting set to Fill, allows the extents of the image to resize freely without distorting the image itself. Pretty cool, huh? But we're not done yet. To make the grid view version of the card look better, let's apply rounded corners. Turn on clipping on the card one layer to set the card's radius to whatever we like. By doing so, the overflow will also be hidden. We'll finish our setup by applying all the same constraint settings to the remaining three cards. Ready, set, go! Once that's done, change the toggle state to reflect the grid view setting. Under the header group, you'll find another group called View Toggle. Go ahead and expand that group. Then, change the opacity of the grid icon to 100 and the opacity of the list icon to 30. And set the position of the layer named Selected to 44. This is where the best part comes in. To animate all of the cards, we'll use a powerful feature in Protopie called Smart Jump to automatically animate between the two views. We promised this would be easy, right? Add a tap trigger to the View Toggle layer. Now, add a jump response, then select List View Scene and leave the default Smart Transition option selected. This will tell Protopie to automatically animate matching layers between scenes. Let's preview the scene and try it out. Uh-oh. The animation is a little too fast. Let's adjust the Smart Jump's delay to slow it down. Try 0.5 seconds. Now go back to the List View scene and add the same jump transition. Add a Tap Trigger to the View Toggle layer, then add a Jump Response and select the Grid View scene. 
like before, leave the default Smart transition selected and change the duration to 0.5 seconds. Let's preview it one more time. Voila! You should be able to switch back and forth in between scenes with Protopie auto-animating all of the cards between the views. Good job! Now, this part is optional, but let's try to make a pixel-perfect transition. When you slow down the playback speed, watch the corner radius. Do you notice it isn't very seamless? It's because the containers in the list view are not set to clip sublayers, so it leads to an instant change in the corner. Another pro tip! To fix this, simply enable the Clip Sublayers option of the containers in the list view. You made it! You can now make your own responsive designs in Protopie. By using constraints, grouping, and container clipping, elements can easily adapt to changes, and as a bonus, you can now use Protopie's Smart Jump to automatically animate objects in between scenes. See you in the next one!